It was at the Makara University Business School Hospitality Day that the students of the fashion and design portfolio took to the stage to put theory into practice. For their day, they invited revered fashion designers like Josephine Nakafero of Jose House of Creations. Welcome to Uganda's definitive style and fashion show, the NTV Style Project, proudly brought to you by Acnes, your number one skincare solution for all your skincare problems. I am Tazibon Solomon, and joining me tonight is Bettina Tiana. Thank you, Solomon. Hello, guys, and welcome to the Style Project. As for winner and celebrated makeup artist Nahia Shero of Nahia Glam, welcome Hi. to the NTV Style Project. Thank you, Tazibon. I'm glad to be with you today. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. You know, guys, you know, fashion showcases from tertiary institutions are not a new thing on the NTV Style Project. Mm -hmm. And on the dissecting board today is a showcase by the MOOC students of the fashion and design portfolio that happened to feature, you know, uh, Kushona and uh, Josephine Lacafero. Let's see what transpired. Of course, uh, this time we have. Um, who, Josephine Nakafero, who was once a guest here on yes. the NTV Style Project showcasing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, when I look at this collection, I feel it was not cohesive. Much as shows ago she was here yeah. you know, talking about how a collection should be cohesive, how every piece in a collection should tell a story. Yeah. When I look at these clothes, some of them actually look tailored like handmade, like she actually really did sit down on the, ta on the tailoring machine. I mean. But then some of them just look ready-made, so yeah. they do not kind of blend. When you look at it, it's kind of scattered in terms of uh, concept and direction. I feel it was a tad to like below the belt, especially being a designer who was invited to showcase and act as an inspiration towards you know, all the upcoming <laughs> designers who around the world. When at I look at these girls walking on the red carpet, it, it kind of looks like a senior six livers party <laughs> a school deep deep down that's there you go again <laughs> i'm not here for this collection well i'll admit there is like maybe one or two pieces that i like mm. i love the last piece the girl wearing um the kaftan uh, i wish they got a different model to really bring out that design it's really beautiful and um the very first piece that you talked about i hate the fact that she mixed flora with um with stripes. With stripes. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see that beautiful. That's a dress that I would never buy. And also, um, there is no coordination and the, the collection is not telling any story. Speaking of trends, I don't see anything trendy over there. So I feel like as a designer, you need to try and follow trends because yeah. the Ugandan market is moving on a very high speed. So for a designer like Josephine, uh, who has been in the industry for so long, I feel like she needs to be, you know, creating a wave and, and, be, uh, and sort of like trying to set trends, not taking us backwards. What do you think they here? Like you said, she has like one or two pieces that are really nice. Yeah. But the models didn't didn't do the, the clothes just. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Or what would you even wear? What would you wear collection? from the collection? <laughs> I wouldn't wear anything. Oh, Why? Oh, Honestly, that's my honest opinion. No, I wouldn't but wear Muslim, anything. And I'm seeing a kaftan in there. I think that could really work for you. The very last piece. No. <laughs> we like we cannot just wear anything. Yes. So. Yeah, there's a lot of improvement needed. Moving on to Kushona's showcase. Okay, uh, first of all, I should say, like you mentioned earlier when we were critiquing uh, Josephine's showcase, you know, sometimes I feel that these designers put like a lot of things that they've worked on to basically just showcase how versatile they can be, you know? And I feel Kushana here did the same, but I feel they did it in, in at least good test, maybe a okay. decent test. Mm -hmm. Because when I look at this gown here, I feel it looks very well made, it looks <laughs> well executed. Yeah. <laughs> and their earlier showcase, the one of the evening wear that had the, you know, the hijab inspiration going on, I feel was very clever because, I mean, yeah. Yeah. when you were actually Ramadan. Gear, gearing yes. up for Ramadan, I feel yeah. as a designer, you need to always have your eye out on the market. Okay. She have you hasn't worked with been her? designing. Uh -huh. She must be new. She hasn't been designing, but mm. she has been bringing gowns from abroad. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So are these ready-made gowns? Are these ready-made or, or they are This handmade? looks ready-made. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's handmade. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. now we're talking about local designers and them putting out their work and then you're basically putting imports yeah. out there for, you know, the world to see. I do not know what 
you know, for me, I feel as a designer, if you basically brand yourself as a designer, whatever it is that you showcase should be made by you. Yeah. yeah. So when you actually go out and showcase the ready-made clothes, that actually makes you a stylist. That makes you a stylist. Yes. yes. Yeah. What do you think, Bettina? Um, I think the gown is it's, it's just basic, honestly. Mm. And yeah. you know, maybe it's for the students at university who are just fresh out of school and they're so in love and they're rolling on a budget. So maybe they can really <laughs> work with that. The dress is so 2001. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it at all. Uh -huh. Yeah, like Bettina said, there's actually nothing to show off about them. Yeah. Do you see cohesion in that collection? Well, I feel like these guys just just wanted to go to MOOCs and show these kids that, or the university students, excuse me, and show them that, hey, you guys, if you need something, come to us. I don't see too much seriousness in all this. I don't know how you mm -hmm. come to showcase and you only have like two or three pieces. Mm -hmm. And because I was actually at the hospitality day last year, mm. and that time it featured like about five local uh, fashion mm -hmm. designers. And how did it go? Um, it featured Kaiju Kambas or Kaiju Collection, yeah. the likes mm -hmm. of Sylvia Worry. You know, wow. it, was, it was much more interesting than, than these. Yeah. I think yeah. they said they were probably like rolling on the budget. They should have been rolling. <laughs> they must have been rolling on <laughs> the budget. No, I'm, I'm actually wondering, <laughs> I can't, I'm failing to figure out how someone would basically showcase what's where. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Yeah. Is it sportswear? Like, I don't get what is going on, but... Yeah. I've seen some um, designers do sportswear um, collections, and they showcase them on the runway in Paris, in New York, and people do actually come and see and watch. Now, we all know Uganda is a country that is known for sports. We yeah. love sports. Now, some people might not know where to get these attires. Mm -hmm. I think this was a good move. And universities, university students play sports quite a lot yeah, every it evening. it would have been a, a good move if mm -hmm. these pieces were locally made. So <laughs> there's a lot going on. Baseball Cricket, baseball, yeah. 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 There's a lot. Generally, for me, I just feel this whole showcase was very... It was, well, it, it was not well planned. Yeah. Also showcased that afternoon was a casual makeup look. Let's see how it went down. Now here, this is your tough. This is home tough for you. What do you think of this? I think these guys should be doing research, mm. learning more about these things. I mean, if you want to be a makeup artist, you cannot just wake up and gamble. You need to do research, you need to study, you need to find out about these things, the skin tones, mm. like the different shades of skin tones, what lip are you wearing for a casual look in the afternoon and all those things. You cannot just put someone's face in front and, and you know, apply my skin like tone on Bettina's, yeah. like, you know? Oh my God, at the end of that, that model And I feel like she's in pain. <laughs> I feel she's in pain. Because the beauty blender is like so dry. It's so dry. <laughs> Oh okay, because I've seen, I've, so I've unbelievable. seen something. Like, I've, I've she seen literally her, yes. has no idea mm -hmm. about what she's doing. Well, um, I'll disagree with you, by the way, on that part. I feel like <laughs> she has an idea, but, you know, these people who are who just, what do they say? Um, you just sort of like stumble into something. Yeah. For example, if you call yourself a makeup artist, or if you're an aspiring makeup artist, you need to seek inspiration, right? Because yeah. you're not going to pay money to go to school and, you know, study this while there is YouTube. Mm -hmm. Now, Nahia over here, post some clips on her on her Instagram. You've seen her apply the foundation with her yeah. bare fingers. With her bare fingers. That's you know very unhygienic. Very unhygienic. Yes, it's yeah. very unhygienic. I've seen her use the beauty blender. Yeah. And she's basically literally pulling the face down. The yeah. model's face is in pain, literally, yeah. mm -hmm. by the look of things. I think she also needs to invest in tools. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in makeup tools, like the brushes mm -hmm. and the beauty blenders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually think the concealer was wrong too. For oh, the really? bottom, for the bottom of on the eyebrow, it was fine. Yes. But then above the eyebrow, you're supposed to use a concealer that is the same skin tone. Yes. Mm -hmm. With a person. Yeah. Now the mistake she did, she used the same concealer, which is a lighter concealer down, mm -hmm. and then she used the same concealer up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't well blended in, so the whole thing looks. It looks like a mess, right? It looks a mess. I do not know how you trust somebody to touch your face like that because you well, don't know where their she's hands are being. She's, she's the campus honcho when it comes to makeup. <laughs> we know you're campus students. Mm -hmm, you basically mm -hmm. do not have much and you're just starting out and going out and exploring the world and presenting a craft. 
that is potentially supposed to make you money. I feel that is no excuse enough. You can't compromise on some things, especially as far as beauty is concerned. I mean, makeup, you want yeah. someone's face. You need to be trusted. You need to work with the right products and the right techniques. Practice as much as possible because practice looks perfect. Do research, find out what you're going to deliver at the end of the day. Find out what makeup products are you going to use, what tools are you going to use. Watch YouTube tutorials, be on the internet, have an inspiration. You cannot just be there without direction. You need to look out to someone and be like, yeah, I want to be like this person. Remember, you're still watching the NTV Style Project, proudly sponsored by Agnes, your go-to solution for all your skincare problems. When we return, Nahia Shero here will basically be demonstrating our casual makeup look. You all lovely viewers have been asking us for a casual normal day-to-day -day face paint. We are at Nahia's makeup studio and the very beautiful Nahia Shiro, who also happens to be an award-winning makeup artist, is going to be taking us through all the tips that you need to know to get that casual face paint right on point. Hi guys, uh, my name is Nahia. I'm an award-winning makeup artist. I'm glad to be with you today and I'll be taking you through the beauty tips of having your casual makeup look on. The casual look is the type of look you can have uh, just woken up in the morning, you need to go for a business meeting, to the office, lunch with friends. It doesn't have to be all that. It needs to be subtle, but you still have to look nice. Before anything, you have to make sure the face is clean. So you can either wash it or wipe, wipe it so that it's really clean. And then you need to moisturize it using primer. Now primer helps the face to be moist and then it helps the makeup to stay for a long time. Make sure it sits into the skin. So this is when you get your foundation and your foundation brush. You don't need a lot for a casual day to day look. You just need to put, a, to put very little of it just to give the face a smooth feel. I don't need to put on something that is, a shade that is dark on her because she would appear dark. So you just have to put a little of it. It doesn't have to be too much because she's not going on runway or on TV or anything. It's just a casual day-to-day -day look. Okay, so once you're done with your foundation, you get an eyebrow pencil, you sharpen it first. It doesn't have to be really too drawn or too big. And it doesn't have to be too dark. Because Sheena is light skin, so we are using a, a brown pencil. Then after filling in, you get your eyebrow brush. And then brush it through just to make it look neat. So you get your concealer brush, and then you get concealer lighter than her skin tone. So you contour the eyebrow. So the eyebrow brush normally is angled. It has a longer side and a shorter side, and it should be really thin for it to make a really neat line down for the eyebrow. So after you've applied your concealer, you blend it in into the skin to define the eyebrow. Because if you put the, uh, a concealer that's the same uh, shade, mm. the eyebrow won't be defined. So after you have um, eyeshadow, you use neutral shades. What are neutral shades like in your makeup yeah, line? Like calm, like brownish, mm -hmm. grayish, mm -hmm. uh, that soft orange, mm -hmm. yeah, the calm shade. So you, you blend it through with your eyeshadow blending brush. It should be a little bit fluffy so that it can spread properly. You don't need to put a lot. Mm -hmm. You just need to put a little bit 
just to give a little bit of volume to the eye. Yeah. So what happens if you want to wear like something green, orange, like a popping? That that's not casual. You cannot go with orange to to like office mm. or for an, a morning meeting. Yeah, sure. yeah, that's more like runway, club, and all. Mm. Yeah. So here we're just playing around with soft shades, the shades that are really calm. So when you're done with your eyeshadow, you get eyeliner. For the bottom, mm. you know, there's an eyeliner and then an eye pencil. Mm. What's the difference? Actually, they're all eyeliners, mm. so you can you can either use it on the eyebrow or down on the eyelid. Mm. They come in different forms. There's this in in form of a pencil, mm. and then there's the eyeliner in liquid, yeah. the one we normally use up, mm. and then there's the one for gel. Now the one for gel, we also use it up most mm. of the time. So yeah, this is the liquid eyeliner. As you mm. can see, you need to be an expert in order to draw your liner using this. So for Sheila, we're going to use the liquid to apply the, the liner up. So you just need to draw a really small line up so that it doesn't shock the people. <laughs> you're done with your liner and then after that you apply your powder so you get you get powder of, of your skin tone in this case I'm going to use mocha is it the same um, mm. tone with the like, yeah foundation it's the same tone with the foundation you're wearing only that this is a different brand okay. so you get your powder and your powder brush mm. So what's the use of powder over foundation? Is it not uh, too much? Or? No. Mm. Now foundation has, has like that f uh, shiny finishing. Mm. So to make it a little bit matte, mm. yeah, we need to use powder, but you also need to apply a little of it. So after that, we're going to put a little bit of blush on her cheek. And what's the use of blush? You can take like too much for no. no you, you need to put just little mm. to, uh, to to try and contour your cheeks. Oh, yeah. To make your cheeks look a little bit thin. Mm. So after you've put blush, you get your mascara. You're going to apply both down. So after you're done putting mascara, you can clean out the parts that... Do you do that with foundation or with powder or With concealer? a concealer brush. Okay. So that's when you go to your lips. You need to outline them first. Mm -hmm. You don't need a, a, a popping color like a red. Yeah. Yeah, you, you need a subtle color like a nude. Gloss. Yeah, gloss. Yeah. So you first outline your lips with a lip liner that is darker than the lipstick you're going to apply. Normally the lip liner has to be darker than the lipstick. The lip pencil enhances the lips, like especially the outside part mm -hmm. of the lips. Your lips have that uh, beautiful outline mm -hmm. when you use a lip pencil to outline it. Okay, so what color are we going for? This is a maroon mm -hmm. because I'm going to apply a nude shade of lipstick mm. on your lip. So I'm going to use Famike lipstick. And actually that's a brand for my Ugandan. Yeah. yeah. This is a brand for a Ugandan, but she's based in uh, Dubai. But it's a Ugandan. So I'm going to apply Famike lipstick. Just need to put a little bit of it. So after that you either decide whether to leave your lips matte or glossy to your preference. I think I want a glossy one. You think you want a glossy one? Mm. Yeah. So you first let it dry while you're cleaning mm. the outside of the lip. So and then if you want a lip gloss, you just need to get like a colorless lip gloss and put it on top of your lipstick. So you put your lips. 
after you're done with your entire face, you spray it. Close your eyes. And what do you use? You use setting spray. I'm going to use uh, uh, the Never Touch Up for Ruby Kiss. It's 24 hours. So you put a little bit of setting spray. So when you use the setting spray, does mm. that mean I could have my makeup the whole day? I mean, yes, home, yes. You, know, you would still meeting. sweat, yeah. but everything would stay intact. Okay. You would just be glowing. Mm. And with makeup, the longer it stays, the better it's it looks. Actually true. Yeah. So if you, in case you sweat, I mean, you're running up in one meeting or another, what do you use? Do you use a powder? Uh, no, you, you don't need a powder. Mm. You, all you all you need is a sponge, oh. a makeup sponge. Okay. So you just have to keep on patting. All right. So is this a complete casual day to day? Yes, complete casual day to day look. Okay. You can go for your meeting, mm -hmm. lunch with a girl, mm -hmm. to office, mm -hmm. you're meeting your boyfriend. Yes, things like that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nahia. How do people follow you out there on your social media handles? Um, on Facebook, we have a page, Nahia Makeup Studio, or my personal page, Nahia Shero. Instagram, it's Nahia Glam. Mm -hmm. I am not on Twitter. But Snapchat, it's nahia.glam. I hope you guys actually had a pen and book to note down the beauty tips. I myself, I have learned so much, Nahia. Next time I come here, <laughs> I'll be like right on point, yeah? Yes, We've girl. We've been shooting at Nahia's makeup studio. That is located at Kingsgate Mall. Don't forget, she's an award-winning makeup artist and there was so much to learn. It's been your girl, Sheila Gashumba and Nahia Shiro. Till next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye. In a special way, the NTV Style Project would love to congratulate Brian Ahumuza upon scooping Best Fashion Trendsetter at the Moobs Hospitality Day and would love to thank him for hosting us at his special premises at Garden City Basement. Remember to check out A. Brian's collection for the latest in menswear. Special thanks to my makeup artist Tish Beauty Glam and Willan Glam Store for my outfit from head to toe. Now guys, make sure you check out our repeats every Wednesday, 3.35 p.m. right here on NTV. And also follow us on Facebook, NTV Star Project, and on Instagram at the underscore star project. And special thanks again to our guest of the night, Nahia Shero. It was nice having you. Thank thanks you for again coming. for joining us. You're welcome. That's it, guys, for me and the crew. Good night. Good night. Good night.